Welcome to uh, Mobile Museum Integration TV. Uh, today we are taking a new direction of programs. In fact, since we have been involved in political interviews for some time, and now that the elections are over, with whoever won, and now we welcome the winners all the time, uh, we need to take, to refresh ourselves from these political interviews, uh, which has been uh, with us uh, over the past uh, four, five, six weeks. And today, we go to the art section. We want to inspire our viewers and to inspire and refresh them. And one of the best clips we are going to show you, some of the best clips we are going to show you are coming from artists in America, in Holland, in Finland, and in Sweden. And in fact, there are Somali artists and Somali and Swedish artists. And we start with the first clip of Jama Malgash. Jama Malgash describes himself. Welcome. Hey. Jama Adi Malgash. I am from East Africa, Somalia, Djibouti. I live in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. I am visual artist. I am welcome to my studio atelier. And really, where I grow up, there is no uh, academy of art schools. I develop myself to bind from childhood. I am outdidact, automatic, did, uh, did act. Now you see my art, and I am welcome to my studio.
And the second clip is Dr. Osman. Dr. Osman is a well-known physician, both in Somalia and in abroad. And in fact, Dr. Osman has been working as the UN designated physician in Somalia during the 80s, mid 80s, 84, 85. And uh, he is now living in America. I and Dr. Osman have met in the internet when I was still in Somalia in the war. And we immediately appreciated each other. He was a painter, apart from a medical doctor, he is also a painter. So his paintings and my poetry have matched each other. And that's where we start our journey to discover beyond what we can see with our own visual eyes, uh, ordinary eyes. Uh, and then we put our heads together, our minds, and we try to find out a way we can bring up, come up with something that can contribute to the world of ideas. And one great idea was that Dr. Osman and I have jointly started working on a book in which he will write, I will write the poetry and he will paint my poetry. And, or he will paint and I will write a poem for that painting. So our work has been complementary, complementary to each other, have been compatible, matching each other. And uh, in that book, which is really the first of its kind, I hope it's the first of its kind, where two artists are working together in two different parts of the world and trying to put their ideas to come up with something fascinating that can be, uh, 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 can make some kind of a meaning to the reader. And that is, <clears throat> we started talking about uh, writing uh, female genital mutilation and nature. I mean, the areas which, uh, where we have covered it, starts with, uh, with different genres, diverse academic fields, artistic areas, from female genital mutilation to nature, to inspiration, to family, relationships, terrorism, uh, integration, migration, uh, education, and uh, finally we have come, come up with a book that contains 200 paintings with a corresponding poetry, 200 poems. And that was quite a very great achievement. It's awaiting publishing now in America.
and the third clip is Nimo Nur. Nimo is in Finland. She's really another fascinating woman. She has she and her friends. In fact, she was not alone. She has got friends, a whole team, in Helsinki. And they have contacted the municipality, and they have created some kind of a project which they have collected the Somali folk tale, uh, folk tale stories or folk tales. Let me say traditional stories or folk tales, and then mixed them with the Finnish traditional stories. And in fact, they have come up with some kind of integrated approach to telling stories, folk tales to the Somali children in Finland. That is something we need to, re to replicate in Sweden as we cooperate with Nimo and her team in Finland. And in fact, the Somali folk tales as Nima has described to me when I have contacted her by phone and requested permission to play this uh, clip, uh, the same as I did with uh, Jama Melgash in, uh, and the same I did with uh, Dr. Osman, uh, all those uh, people uh, whom I'm presenting their work today, I have got permission from them to, to play their clips. And in fact, she mentioned that the Somali folk tales, they have got some kind of uh, fear. They evoke fear uh, uh, because uh, we tell these folk tales to children we want, when we want them to go to bed, when they cannot stop talking, and when they are so naughty, then we tell them, okay, now the lions are coming, or you have to go to bed. And then they go to bed, and then they might get some nightmares or dreams that are... So Nimo tried to, and her team are trying to, modernize these folk tales, to fathom up, dig them in, the Somali folk tales, and take those that are very inspirational, and then blend them with the Finnish folk tales, so that we will have a very, <coughs> uh, 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 a component that's very well integrated in terms of uh, culture and tradition, and which both the kids, both the Swedish, the, the, the Finnish, and the Somali kids in Finland are just absorbing them as their own folk tale stories, so that they will not have any distinction in terms of culture. They will only have just stories that are covering a lot of things and that sometimes inspire them, give them energy to become better adults in the future. So that is Nimo and her team and her kids. And there will be also a show where they have staged in the theater, in Finnish theater. I don't know what name, but uh, in that theater. So we also see the kids playing.
And the fourth clip is the one we are going to play. Now is the Swedish part of the inspiration. And the fourth clip, which we would like to play now, is a young boy, Yelmer, a teenage, who has been entertaining the people at Veco Bibliothek, the uh, Veco City uh, Library, where I and my friend Sven Flippo have organized Utstelling for integration and migration, migration and integration Utstelling, which we have called gaps. And those gaps, really, they are about the difference, the distance between the, the Swedish man or the Swedish people and the immigrants. Is there a gap between us? Is there something that we can do about it? Is there a bridge that we can build? How far is that gap is? And to what extent can we cover it? These are the gaps that we have been trying to discover or trying to find out when we were trying making the research of the extent of this gap, uh, or, or the extent of the people are really far away from each other in terms of culture, in terms of tradition, in terms of uh, uh, language, in terms of climate, in terms of geographic uh, setting, in, in terms of uh, technology or whatever it is. Because we have come to a completely a different location as immigrants, particularly Somali immigrants from Somalia to Sweden. Everything seems to be a bit different and quite difficult. So we try to find out these gaps and present it in the form of, of an exhibition. So I, as Somali, and Sven, as a Swede, we have tried to put our ideas together and come up with something that can work to improve the already existing integration efforts that are underway in Veco and in Grunenberg. And then in that standing or that exhibition, we have invited Yelmer, and uh, that boy has been entertaining the people with his guitar. So fascinating to see such a young man with such a voice and such a, a, a talent and a skill to be able to play the guitar and sing himself with his own voice without copying other singers' voices. So this is something, uh, a great achievement. And we have chosen that clip as part of the <laughs> inspiration series of these clips that we have been talking about from the beginning until now. So welcome to Yelmer and his guitar. Thank you very much. And we have come to the conclusion of the program. And here is the end. See you again. Bye. Ja, Helme heter jag, eh, 17 år, pluggar på gymnasiet. Sitter i biblioteket nu för att jag har blivit tillfrågad att spela på den här fantastiska utställningen som jag har bakom mig här. Vill du spela ett, en sång för oss? Ja. Mm. Vilka sång ska du välja nu? Den här är en låt av Ebba Grön. Den här är? Den här låten är gjord av Ebba Grön och heter D-Mauer. D-Mauer? Okej. Vi får lyssna dig. Yeah. 